What's up? You met Zenya yet? She's one of the best artists in Yara. I feel like you two would get along. You'll see what I mean. Thank you. Couldn't have been easy to paint. Hmm. What next? You look like a guerrilla with vision. Like... You might look like a guerrilla, but you're an artist. I can tell. I'm Senya. I paint. And you're just in time. How do you feel about stealing one of Jose's tanks? One goes missing? Who gives a shit? Bring it back and we'll get to work. I have a vision. And it needs more tank. I knew you had a good vibe when you walked up. Watch yourself, yeah? Oh shit. That tank says Senya. This I like! Senya, guess what I got? A dunk? You're a superstar. Bring it home to Mama Sita. On my way. Leave it with me. She's gonna be beautiful. Ooh! I have a surprise for you. Well, that's no tank. That is a Senya Sayas original. Costume design. One of a kind. All that's left is to christen it with true yard and blood. Seen those billboards around with Jose's ugly face on them? They kill my will to create. They represent everything that is wrong with Yara. And it's up to artists like you and me to make some fucking noise about it. So why don't you take our vision for a spin and blow that shit up? That tank is your brush. And Yara is your canvas. Take chances. Coño, qué lindo eres. It's beautiful. Here I come! That's right. Got a nice long look at my sweet ride, cabrón. One down. Love to watch Jose's face burn. How do you feel? I feel pretty fucking good. Now we're making noise, baby. Jose's face is all over the village. Go oh, express yourself some more. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> got you, Singo! Some great progress. Feels like I might be close to a breakthrough.
still hear the boom boom. You not done yet? Nope. Having way too much fun. Hey, who am I to get in the way of creative impulse? Power of Ida. I'm in.
Almost there now. This is the way. Shit. This place feels like basic training all over again. Fire, passion, and war. I can relate to that. Shit. There's more of these. I should track them all down. Polion El Pequeño would have given him a worse fate. So it's near that smoke up there. Almost there.
Might have been worth it for the rest in peace, Soldado. Dropside confirmed at Hardina K. Send a pickup team. Can do. We're on the way. Libertad can use those supplies. I just have to get there first. Fuck yes, there's a ton of good stuff here. Tell me what you know. If you've got time, my friend Chica Nunez is in a really tight spot. She'd be very grateful to have your help. Thanks. Please, help me. I have nobody else. I'm Chica. I live in Barrio del Principe, just down the road. Licoste is there now. He calls himself an artist, but he's a monster. He creates these sculptures by pouring hot metal over people. Castillo gives him muscle, and he goes from village to village, pulling his victims right out of their homes. Please, Guerrilla. Kill that sick fuck. Save my friends. Go, Guerrilla. Stop that son of a bitch. Okay, watch yourself, Danny. Who's there? Got here just in time. Chica, Lacoste is dead. You won't be seeing any more statues. He's gone? See, si, Chica, he's gone. Gracias, Danny. I didn't tell you, but Lacoste was my husband. You married that sick fuck? I thought his sculptures were beautiful. Such striking images of pain. I loved to watch him at work. Oh. Until I found my name on his list of victims. You're just as sick as he was. Goodbye, Danny. I loved watching you work, too. With all these soldiers around, I wonder if he made it out. Carajo. That's a lot of hungry crocodiles. Carajo, that's a lot of hungry crocodiles. Gotta be Luis. Binga. Something you must be Beatrice. This has to be the key to your boyfriend's stash. Too bad you ate him, but that's love for you. <sighs> another day, another fucked up Yaren love story.
Clara, I'm near that oil rig off the coast. Any advice? Yeah, try to keep damage minimal. The less the supply is well blown up, the more oil for us. Right, thanks. forces of course an alarm Valve will help drain the oil and prevent an explosion. Can you tell I wanna me? talk. Heard about some bad shit at FI Escudo Metal Foundry. Be careful. But we can use any metal you find there. Appreciate it. Lara, I'm near some sort of metal factory. Shit, stay sharp. I heard some strange rumors about that place, but if you're going in, look for any wood trucks filled with metal. If you take one, we can use the scrap it was hauling. Got it. Could come in handy. Anda aí. Gotta take out that alarm.
it's not chess. Shit. Checkpoint. Juan, I just hijacked a convoy. What should I do with it? What do you think, Danny? Bring it to one of those vehicle depots. I'll get my people to strip it down for its resources. You got it, Juan. I need your help to find the lieutenant. Our soldier friend said he saw Napoleon El Pequeño's private island. So you and me are going to take a boat from a dock in Siniestra to Cayo Vria Real. We take out this Singao and Jose's whole operation crumbles. But keep this between you and me, okay? Papa's got enough stress to deal with right now. See you at the boat. We are taking a lot of risks for one lieutenant. You want to complain? You can swim. <laughs> nice boat. Is it yours? No, I stole it. Papa taught me how to hotwire tractors when I was a kid. Boats aren't so different. Hey, we have to get Carlos a doctor. Hmm, good luck. He's coughing blood, he needs help. Papa took me fishing once, south of Costa del Mar. He's a hell of a rancher, but a shit fisherman. No patience, couldn't cast. Kept snagging his line on the bottom, even hooked himself in the lip. <laughs> Got so pissed, he threw a stick of dynamite in the water. Killed a lot of fish, but also put a fucking hole in our boat. We swam five kilometers back to shore. All these boats stopped to help, but Papa told them to fuck off. What does this have to do with Carlos being sick? I'm saying that the day Carlos Montero gets help, it's the day hell freezes over, Danny. Coño, you Monteros are stubborn. No me, just Papa. <laughs> sure, sure. Shut up. Fucking tobacco. It was supposed to make our people rich. That's what Anton said anyway. See, si. that's how we got elected. Yes, and a lot of us voted for him. We believed in his promises. We thought it was going to be like the old days again, like some kind of fantasy. We were so fucking wrong. If we want to change things, someone has to whip us all into shape, bring us together. And it's not going to be Papa. So Carlos doesn't have a plan? His plan is don't tell anybody what the fuck you're feeling, ever. Don't trust anybody either, especially your own daughter. Just fucking react to whatever Napoleon El Pequeño throws your way. He's old school. Reminds me of my headmaster in the orphanage. Strict, tough as shit, but if he liked you, he had your back for life. Hmm. That kind of thinking is gonna get us all killed. We can't keep reacting to Jose. It's not working. We need to try new things, be agile, stay one step ahead of that little hijo de puta until he's dead. I'm with you. Good answer, Danny. Mierda, you smoking Mexican? Tobacco out here has been vivido. Can't even smoke our own anymore. Come and meet us. Shit. 
¿Qué pasó? José fucking Castillo. Antón's bitch of a nephew. Lo veo y no lo creo. ¿Qué está haciendo? Está con el capitán que estamos buscando. Se ve más como un científico. Este José... No. No. Me ha hecho el capitán. is going. Let's search this place for intel. Let's go. Maybe his friend by the helipad can help. He says Jose has a villa on the north side of the island. Hey, little hombre! Found it! No password, idiota. Let's see what we got here. El pequeño has a fucking torture chamber filled with outcasts. It's under the lighthouse just south of here. Cojone. Can you let me in? Done. I'll stay and see what else I can find. Suerte, Danny. Thank you. 
want to see my yeah, family. Hey. Gracias, gracias. De nada. Dios mío. Thank you. I thought I would never see my children again. Jose is a psychopath. Shut up. Espada. Jose was using this place as his own little torture chamber. He had outcasts in there, but I freed them. Enfermo mental. I shouldn't be surprised. Good work, though, Danny. I found where that scientist works. The Singao we saw earlier. His lab's in Refmira. Meet me there. Okay. Then are you going to tell me what's really going on? You'll know when I need you to know. So why do you want this guy so bad anyway? El come mierda checks all the tobacco leaves for the vivido process. We fuck up the leaves, we fuck up the cancer drugs, we fuck up Napoleon Epequeño's operation, make him look bad in front of old Uncle Anton. A lot of heat. So how you wanna do this? We kill soldiers until we find him. And then? And then we kill more soldiers. Simple. I like it. Sniper on Overwatch. Adios. Let's go. We need no more soldiers here. What are you waiting for? I'll back for? up to take come mierdas. <clears throat> Get away from me! Ah, fuck me, mierda! Mierda is right. You look like shit, hermanito. Hermanito? We've been hunting your brother this whole time? Who the hell are you? Why didn't you just tell me? Alejandro, come on. We're going home. Yeah. Vete pal carajo. <coughs> Ale. <coughs> Suéltame. <coughs> Cojone. Pasa. <coughs> 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 I'm not going anywhere. I told you before, and I am telling you now. I believe in Castillo. I believe in Viviro and Jose. He's seen the vision through. Napoleon El Pequeño is a slave driver. He's fucking loco. <laughs> Says the person trying to kidnap me. You change your name. You change your uniform, but you are still a Montero. And Papa still got a machete up his ass. And you are running to the jungle like you did when you were five. Except now you kill people and you got yourself, what is it? The spike? The sword. How clever. What? You are going to stab me now? Papa is sick. I don't care. Papa gave up on me a long time ago and you know it. Family's a bitch, no? That's what I hear. We should split up. Not a word about this to Papa. A message from the Lion of Yara, Presidente Anton Castillo.
Alguien sospechado de hacer una acción criminal Hola. no puede tener acceso a los Oh, good. Just glad I know the real story now. I was worried you wouldn't help if you knew my brother was military. He's a traitor. See, sí. but he's still family. Come back to camp soon. We got more work to do. Got the truck. Good. Come get me at the gas station. On my way. Carlos, almost there. Good. Bring the truck inside the garage. You got it. En tu imaginación hay algo extraño que lentamente. Whoa, master of disguise over here. Shut up and get in the back. Okay. First time going back to this place since I broke out. It used to be a school. I sent my kids there. How long were you inside? Eight months, maybe more. Eighteen-hour days in the fields getting whipped and breathing in poison fucks with the memory. Sounds like hell. See, si, but I had Miguel. We kept each other straight. You said he was like a son to you. Toughest motherfucker I know. Raised him like he was my own. Taught him to box. He almost made Senor Yara before we got taken. How did you get out? Camila snuck in one night, sliced up three guards, took two bullets to her shoulder, grabbed the hostage and sprung me and Philly. Oh yeah, sounds like Espada. That's my girl, but she couldn't find Miguel, and by that time there was too much heat. So we left him behind with more of our people. Just hope there's something left of him. We're close, no more talk. Carlos Montero, what are you doing here? Where's Miguel? I don't know. The car took him somewhere in the prison. Mierda. It's off. We walk. Go. I'll find Miguel. If you get caught, it's you against the fucking army. It's okay, Papa. I wore my big boy pants. Crazy motherfucker. Meet us at the gas station when you got him. Suerte. De pinga. I don't even know what this guy looks like. <laughs> Camera. Those who are drafted are treated like the heroes they are. They're they back They owe us their duty. And we owe them. I'm good. Every true Yara knows my son Diego. No back up now. He must be you. Who the fuck are you? Danny. Carlos Montero sent me. There's the key. Now to free Miguel. <clears throat> Let's get the fuck out of here. Lead the way. Carlos, found Miguel. Good work, tourists. Now get him out of there and meet me at the gas station. Okay. Where, Carlos? Up ahead. Up ahead where? The gas station. I know it's hard, but you have to trust me. Everything's okay now. Yara is family. It is the duty of family to be honest with each other. To be truthful. Carlos said he took you in. Taught you boxing, that kind of thing. <laughs> he didn't teach me shit. I schooled him. Need some wheels. How long you know, Carlos? Few days. Carlos don't make friends with outsiders. Danny, there's someone I want you to meet. Her name is Yami. Think of her as the Juan Cortez of cars. I, I can't handle two of you. You can't handle one of me. <laughs> ah, fuck you, it's a shitty joke. Just look Yami up. Buenas noches. Anyone else waiting with Carlos? Sere, you ask a lot of questions. Just him. Almost there now. There he is, Senor Yara. Come on, get in. Hell yeah, brother. I knew you'd come for me. Go 
Oh, you <laughs> said it. You look like shit. I thought you motherfuckers were on rations. <laughs> Still a dig. Still dry. Good for you. I'll drink his. Miguel. I'm I'm sorry. I didn't come for you sooner. I tried. You know I'd never forget you. No bullshit, Carlos. We do what we do to survive, mi hermano. Enough talk. Give me that fucking guitar. <laughs> did good, tourists. When I first saw you, I wanted to gut you like a crocodile, but you're Montero now, Danny. Gracias. So, do I call you Papa now? Shut up and drink. So, we're good friends now, see? No hard feelings? Almost blowing you up is the past. We got to look to the future. And I see a military truck in your future. With special ammo, special weapons, and a special sauce. I'm feeling once it real bad. I like to plan ahead. And I got big plans to bump up the Montero firepower, see? First step is that truck. The Lord, suerte. Bring it back and we'll talk. Philly, I'm at the marina. Now, whatever happens, just don't bounce the sweet baby. What? The truck, don't damage it. Drive like there's a big bouncy baby Philly in the back. Bouncing baby Philly. Got it. You're gonna make baby Philly cry. Just bring that truck back in one piece, okay, Hero? Bang. Eyes up, Danny. Hola, dog. Philly, one very stolen truck is on the way. Perfect. Okay, send it straight into my loving arms. But don't let nobody follow you. Huh? Be like a cat in the night. A smooth, sleek, sexy cat. Yeah. Eh, I'm more of a dog person. So is Chorizo. But he forgets sometimes. Sicula, Sicula. The hero returns. Yeah, and the hero needs rum. <laughs> Big What's happening here? Philly magic, babe. Mierda, I almost died for packing foam. No, 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 no. White gold. Hard to get. Birds like a motherfucker. Everything gotta know a purpose, hero. You and you. Danny in the flesh. You do not disappoint. I know. You came for the same thing everybody else does. Yami's magic touch. I'd love to get under your hood, but we gotta get that oil flowing first. 
Some dickhead officer took my car and stored it up at the old racetrack, which those assholes turned into a training ground. I'd love for you to steal it back from me, but you're going to have to get your hands dirty. I got some punch for your ride, an anti-vehicle weapon that'll make your guerrilla heart beat faster. Good luck, mommy. I know you can do it. Danny, you're looking for a CAG TG. Before you ask, it used to be my dad's ride. Real piece of family history. Papa told me I was conceived on the back seat. That's something nobody needs to hear. I'll tell you another story then. Once upon a time, this girl dreamed of being a famous street racer. But girl's dad got sick. So girl worked the family's body shop instead. Then one day, a dreamy guerrilla did the girl a solid, and girl was very grateful. Just looking for my happy ending, Danny. Everybody, cover me! Cover me! Yummy. Nothing between me and your car now. You'll be hiding it away in a garage. Keep an eye out. Can't come in this ride, amigo. Yummy. Got your riding on my way. I knew you had it in you. Oh, um, you can keep the car. Really? But you said this was family history. My parents fucked in that thing, Donnie. <laughs> you think I want it back? Besides, you did me a favor and still own me. See how I did that? Kisses! Those guerrillas might need some help. Someone's out there. 